Oh, hey there. You must be looking for some IT help. Well, I'm your guy. Today, we're going to be learning how to use the web printing service offered here at Wells. Web printing using Papercut is easy to use and allows you to print from any computer on campus to any printer on campus. Let's take a look. Since the online printing service is on the internet, we're going to have to open up the web browser. Looks like Internet Explorer is my choice. Now, let's bring up that cursor looking thing up to the address bar and type in papercut.wells.edu. You should see this screen. The page itself has instructions on how to use web print also. Since you're being taught by me, you don't need those. Click on Papercut to log in. Simply use your Wells ID and password and you will be able to log in. This next screen can look a little confusing. Don't worry, that balance is not actually real money. It is only used to show the amount of money you would be spending on paper and its environmental effects. Go to the sidebar and click on Web Print. If you haven't told it to print anything, the screen should read, No Active Jobs. But you want to print something, so go to Submit a Job. There is now a list of printers available to you. Pick the one that is most convenient, or farthest away if you want to get a nice walk-in. Now, click on the Print Options and the Count Selection button. Decide how many copies you want to print and leave the amount to charge on Charge to My Personal Account. Though you'll want it on Charge to My Personal Account, you can charge to a shared account in the future. This will allow a student worker to print large quantities for a supervisor. Now click on Upload Document. Go to Browse and search for what you want to print. The format list below the Browse button simply shows what type of files you can print. If your format is not one that is available, simply save it as a PDF and you'll be ready to go. Now click Upload and Complete. Now you still have to release the print job. You can either release it from the computer you're at or from the computer next to the printer. Go to Jobs Pending Release and under Action, Release Job. And the job is done. You print it. If your dollar amount drops to zero, simply call IT for assistance and we will restock it. So that's it for today. Be on the lookout for emails. Thanks, and goodbye.